in this lecture so we will not directly learn C++ but we will make some tools that will help us learn C++ in a better way okay and for that we will look at one of the IDE for C++ that is quite helpful and that is known as code block okay so code block is a C++ IDE which you can download and then you can learn C++ in much accelerated fashion because it helps in quite a few ways okay so what you need to do I will just give you a brief idea so you need to go to first the site okay so you need to go to codeblocks. okay so codeblocks.org so this is the site so you need to go to code blocks okay and this is the code blocks dot org home and then what happens is the opens its open source and cross platform free C++ ID it's free but it's beautiful okay and code blocks is a free C++ ID built to make most demanding needs of users okay so this will help you the code blocks and what are the features just let look at it so highlights so it's open source first it's open source you can use it for free in fact you can change its source code also okay it has you can extend it using lot of plugins compiler it supports all different sorts of compiler for C++ GCC compiler GNU GCC compiler Borland compiler etc now what happens is debugger it has very good debugger so the GNU GDB it has got interface it supports now full breakpoint support so it supports you breakpoint so that when you are debugging a code so you can put breakpoints okay for read write break conditional breakpoints also you can put okay and then you can have user defined watches also that okay some variable is changing how it's changing the call stack how are the functions being called then disassembly memory dump okay what is the memory was there at when the code was running what is the status of the different variables switch between threads if your th code has got multiple threads you can switch between the threads and you can watch the cpu registers okay interfaces so syntax highlighting can be done which can help you see the code okay code folding is also there if there are a lot of functions you can just fold the code then you have code completion so it, you don't need to remember everything it will give you options smart indenting is there indent is there so a lot of things are there okay so what you need to do then you need to just go to the download so you go to the download and you will get the download here so windows you are working on windows so you download like this setup okay so the ming code blocks 12.11 ming gw setup user.exe if you download this it will come with the compiler okay so this is done then you will get something like this okay so this is the code block now what happens is that you can see that the code is so beautiful green hash include in green using namespace in blue it will make you very much easier what is happening okay so a lot of help is there now you can see some of the things are if you want to make a new project so you can come here make a new project console application so welcome the new console application wizard so you can move forward C++ we are writing so we make a C++ project project title so so learning learn learn C++ okay code okay learn C++ programming okay learn C++ programming then it's asked for debug configuration where should your output go okay so just going back so this folder where this project will be created C code block okay and now so these are the options 
so our learn c++ programming is created a main file is automatically created and it gives you a hello world program okay so this is automatically done for you now what happens is you can do a lot of things so we can see some of the features like if i am doing let's say c out so it will automatically give me one option c out i can put then it says it automatically give me the quotes so hello to the world of c plus plus so you can write like this then what can happen is let's see some more features so if you want to include something more some strings so include auto completion feature then you can have i want to include string so this is included for me okay so then what you can do string so it will give me the option string s is equal to my name is okay my name is s just like that okay and then what happens so these are the features now what happens you can build it so build project so it's building the project so project is done you can build it from here also so you can build project from rebuild so it says it's rebuilding so you can rebuild it you can clean the project okay so cleaning cleaning means i'm cleaning all the executables and object files so it is done again i can compile it build it again then you have the option of running it okay so let's see how it runs so it runs so we had hello world hello to the world of c plus plus my name is s where is that okay so okay so that is not printed because yeah we haven't printed that okay so this is there press any key to continue so this is done then what happens is you can do a lot of debugging also so let's see what is debugging so you can put some breakpoints so where your code will stop okay so we have put some breakpoints and now what can happen now you can start the debugger okay so let's see you can start the debugger and your main.cpp is here and what happens is now you can so these are the debugging options so it's showing debug continue run to cursor next line of code step into step out so next instruction so we will do run to next line so next line is which one let's see so this is the next line so we are at code block main.cpp13 so let's see the output is there it's coming so no so step out if we do what is there so you can do some kind of debugging okay so there is stop debugger these options have gone we stop the debugger okay so these can be done so stopping the debugger but it's not stopping but let's see so these are some of the features that are there so that will help you make the code okay so then you have find find in files find in next okay so hello world if you try to find hello so you can find it here so these are lot of things are available in this one okay so we will use all these features deoxy block is there that will help you make if you write some comments it will make a document for you okay so these are the features that are available and we will use this debugger so this was a short one we will see the features when we learn about the new code so i hope you understand a bit about code blocks it's a very helpful tool to code okay so thanks a lot